Hello my friends, hello Photoshop lovers. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a spot poster like this inside of Photoshop, right? So if this is your first time, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to also subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any of the videos that I'm going to be posting anytime right now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to File and click New like this, right? So I'm just going to set the size, right? Um, before I set the size, I'm going to give you the name here. And um, this is a spot poster, like I said. And the size is a 4x5. Resolution stays at 300, RGB, transparent, and I'm going to click on create like this, All right? So um, inside here, this is my interface. I'm going to click solid adjustments, color, uh, solid color on the adjustment layer. And I'm going to use this color code that is white. All right? So this is the first thing you should do. Now um, let's fill up this background. So I'm just going to go over to my smart designer premium asset. Now, if you've not gotten yours, now is a good time to take advantage of this um, smart design premium asset. You can see you have so many folders. Inside these folders it is packed with so many things. But now I'm content with the background, which is this guy here. So I'm just gonna drag and uh, I'm gonna drop inside here. Now the essence of this smart designer asset is you have all of this inside your disposal, you don't have to go online to search for them. So if you've not gotten yours, this is the right time to actually get yours now. You have your background, you have your font, you have your 3D effects, you have your elements, you have your background and so many things. And of course, your flyer templates are also available. So if you need flyer templates, all these are available in the link in the description of this video. So you can click the link in the description of this video to get yours and you can design and with perfection you're good to go so like i said i'm just going to go back to my resource file and um, the next thing i'm going to bring in is the picture of um the player here rashford so um i'm going to click enter to place it a couple of things I like to do to get rid of all these places. So click on the mask like this, select your brush and make sure your cap lock is turned off and conceal these areas like this. If you want to be more precise, reduce the size of the brush while you make it smaller. Right? So you can get precision this way. So I'm just going to control Z this and uh, make my brush smaller. You can see and while I'm zooming close. Right, so what like this. Okay, so now this is good. Okay, so um, bring this down here like this and Ctrl T to transform it and i'm going to flip it like this so it's facing this side hold down the shift and um, tilt this to this side like this and click enter you can see it's more balanced this way Ctrl T. i'm going to make it bigger And um, I'm going to position it somewhere around here. And um, click enter while I did. So um, select this image. We want to make it pop, go to camera raw filter. Now, if you also need to download uh, Photoshop, um, software you can click the link in the description of this video and um, you can get the software installed in your pc so highlights and um, shadows contrast please follow my settings then click ok like this and you have it 
as you can see it's all popped up okay so this is like the first step so the next thing I'm going to do is click on black and white of course it's affecting the whole layer we don't want that so right click and create clipping mask on just the image so it doesn't affect the whole layer click on the mask and press ctrl i to invert it this so use your brush and uh, only paint on areas you want that effect to be but make sure since you're working on a black uh, mask your foreground color is set to white very important so if yours is not working please check it so conceal these areas you can be more specific with this i'm just going to do mine like this um the word i was looking for is intricate so you can spend time doing that All right photo manipulations are um they take a whole lot of time right so drag this inside like this and place it here so this one you want to make it smaller like this somewhere around here is good yes and when you're done click ok like this so what you want to do is we want to copy the same effect or want to do the same effect so we don't have to go back to my row and start applying the same effects so what you should do at this point is um, this will take a whole lot of time we don't want to do this so you can see that this layer has this thing so click on your alt key while you drag and drop on this to copy the same effects on this you can see that it now has the same effects right so you can open this up double click to open the camera filter you can see the same effects so now you can now add extra to this the texture and the shadow to make it pop more because it's a smaller image so it needs to be very very obvious and when you're done click ok right so i'm going to be doing the same thing i did to the first image black and white lock this up with this image still selected I'm going to adjust many layer black and white and uh, I'm going to create a clipping mask like this ctrl i to invert this and I'm only going to paint on areas that I need also make your brush smaller so that you're more precise very important the brush smaller so that it doesn't affect we want this on just the skin to create this effect okay perfect on this part too you can see how i'm trying to reduce the size of my brush you can use the bracket keys after the letter p on your keyboard to reduce the brush right now if you want to gain more knowledge on uh, composition and um, photo manipulation like this please watch my other spot posters and um, most of my product videos right so you have a whole lot of them just click on the playlist and um, watch other videos so i'm going to conceal these parts make sure this is set to black conceal this part and also with the with this part too right so you can see that this particular composition is actually coming to life so what we want to create here is some realistic shadows realistic so come here and um, before the shadows we want to bring this in so this is directly under on top of the um, ground background that we brought in so i'm going to rotate this place it somewhere here make it slightly bigger click enter when you're done but there are some parts i don't need so create a mask and um, increase the size of your brush to mask out all these places here and also these areas right another thing you need to do is also i don't want this color so i'm just going to go to adjustment layer here and saturation 
make sure right click and create clipping mask click on colorize i just need one color to make it blend right i'm going to go towards the blue and increase the saturation like this right another thing i want to do is reduce the opacity like this right and um, increase the lightness for this one and um, you're good to go that way right so this is exactly what i want so um reduce opacity i think somewhere around here is good so i'm just going to go beneath this um stay on top of this one here create a new layer here and uh, make sure your foreground color is set to black reduce the size of your brush and click once and uh, put this down like this holding shift and i'm going to place the shadow under his leg like this right ctrl j to make it a quick copy ctrl t and i'm going to bring this here like this i'm just going to make it smaller to create this shadow okay so now that that's out of the way let's proceed with the um, next phase of this design create a new layer here I'm gonna bring in the text I took our time to arrange and type this so we don't spend too much time trying to do this okay so we have our text um, Marcus Rashford all of that typed out So what you want to do is um, make all of this bigger so that I have space for my text. Right? So you can bring it down like this and position it here. Click enter when you're done. And um, of course you can see that your design has space. Right? It's always good regardless of what you're doing. Your design has white space. Alright? So click on new layer red as your top color increase the size of your brush click once and change the blend mode to screen click on this area click on this area and um, click on this area I'm just going to drag on this area you have a huge amount of red here so um, it's more like the blograna color and um, what else again add some reds here and um, of course, um, there you have it, right? Nicely blended in, a blend mode is set to screen. And um, all of this is in place, right? So it's just better you get a good balance of your entire composition, right? You're, and make sure you're not doing too much. And they're not doing too much. Okay, if you've learned something, from this particular video make sure you hit the like button and if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please you can share this video so youtube can recommend this video to more persons that will be needing this video i'll see you in the next video just above ciao